Honestly, I'm having too much fun. I don't want to stop. I've had my fun here. It's about time to start for realsies. I guess I'll play a video game. We'll be right back. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Bienvenidos. Let's welcome. Bueno. Din I don't know how to say morning in Spanish. I used to. Greetings. Aloha. Hey, what's up? It's morning. It's 8.30 a.m. ish on a Thursday. Which means it's time for breakfast in bed. Um, I'm gonna play a little Remnant. Rise from ashes. Uh, and yeah, so this is not gonna be the DLC uh, that was recently released. I was ready to dive in, uh, but we wanted to wait for two things. One, I wanted to beat the game first, which is what I'm hopefully gonna do today. I think I'm brushing up on the end, if not. Uh, for sure, but I was looking at a wiki, kind of was feeling out where I am. This game is not non-linear, but it's weird. Uh, two, uh, we wanted to take a look at the DLC with a full party. So that'll probably be next week. Um, my frame rate for this game went to poop. 
What the heck? This is... Oh, I guess it's... Yeah, it's okay. Alright. We're gonna dive in. If you haven't seen this game before, it is a third-person shooter um, in the style of a Resident Evil 4. Um, and it has some Souls elements. Obviously, there's bonfires. There's an Estus Flask equivalent. But then there's also some randomly generated stuff. Uh, you're not ever going to get... Well, not ever. But... Uh, the worlds are seeded, and that means you can have access to different side quests and stuff like that. Um, I've been rocking the same two guns for a really long time. I got like a nice rifle. I got a pistol. Oh, right. I was at a boss. I was at a frustrating boss. Um, so I'm just going to dive right in. Oh yeah, this, I don't know what happened to the frame rate here. I uh, was playing this the other day, and it was just fine. Even before I was, er, I mean, when I wasn't streaming this morning, it was still really jinky. I apologize. I it has to do with the patch or something. Oh god. So I need to kill, oh god, oh okay, all right. Okay, alright. I'm just getting messed up. Okay. Basically, I've never seen this game. Everyone has two different weapons. Oh no! And I've almost filled up a meter here. We got special attacks. This uh, pistol, I have some skulls. So they're going to be able to deal with these enemies. Ah! Ideally, while I destroy this thing. Wow, I do not do a lot of damage. This is... It, this is rougher than any other fight I've had in this area. Oh my god. These guys don't stop. I feel like this is a fight that would be a lot better with co-op, which this game has. Three-player, multiplayer co-op. Seems like my skulls are trying to put in some work. Build my skull meter. Alright, one down. Okay. Making progress. Out here. Oh boy. Can I not go behind this one? Heal. Oh my god. Can you guys chill for a second? Okay. Alright. We're running. And we're running. Oh, yeah, they can teleport. That's tight. Love it. Alright. I've had it with teleporting enemies. They hit that- oh, I hit that guy, you all saw it. Oh. It up. Okay, okay. Skull's going again. Oh man, this is rough. Alright, this is my special on my long rifle. It shoots like a little black hole that detonates after a while. Of course, it damages me. Some more ammo. Yeah. 
Okay. We got some elite enemies. Whenever you hear that high pitched shoot, that means there's an elite enemy and they suck. They suck so much. Oh. All right. Is this game always this framey? No, it was weird. I was playing it a couple days ago. It was fine. Then a patch hit. And I don't know. I was just getting really bad frame rate even before I was streaming. Uh, no other programs going on my computer. I don't know. It was usually very smooth. I don't know if there's like a... I should check the forums for this game, see if anyone else is having a problem. Oh, God. Alright. These guys explode. These other guys teleport. This, honestly, I might have to stop streaming this. This frame rate is rough. It's hard to nail my precision shots. Did I just roll out of my heel? Uh, try lowering the graphic settings. They're all on medium with a couple on low, even. Tried that before. Let's uh, all right, let's die. Let's go to potato quality and see what's up. Shadow distance. Not necessary. Boom. Is there a very low? No. All right. Potato time. How are we looking? Okay. Better. I mean, that makes sense, but... Still. Try restarting the game. I restarted the game. I restarted my computer. Wow, no, this is still pretty junky. Maybe it's this area in particular? multiple enemies here, it's just, uh, full screen versus full screen window somehow. Yeah, I don't, see, that's the thing, is like, I, I didn't have to mess with my settings at all before. You know what, guys? I might just pull an audible here. Let's see what else is on, I have installed here. Um... You know what I have not played in a long time? This other game. Fade in the black. But you can still hear me. No, I have played Dota recently. That's not true. I'm gonna look into this remnant stuff, see if there is maybe other people having this issue. If not, do some tinkering. Um, but speaking of games that somewhat recently got DLC shooters that I've enjoyed that I hadn't played in a little bit, got another one of those. And it's this one. What is it? <gasps> oh, Risk of Rain 2.
So, Whiskerman 2, pretty dope game. Uh, I like it a lot. I don't remember it well, so I'm going to do kind of poorly to start, but let's just dive in. Alright. Okay, what do I got? I got, I got this nail gun. I got a rocket grenade thingy. Right, I can go sicko mode. Okay. So if you've never seen this game before, uh, it's basically the goal is to survive until you find an exit. Uh, and then you summon the exit, the boss comes, you fight it. Move on to the next area. The meter there in the top right dictates uh, all right, I can swap modes and I have a laser. Yeah, okay. The meter in the top right basically dictates how hard uh, things are gonna be right now. How do I open the, do I not have, I don't have control. Oh man, even this is crazy. This is rough. Maybe there's something going on with my computer. Which would be a bummer since I just was playing stuff yesterday just fine. Uh, this game is also all about its upgrades. Uh, This game is also pretty notable for, uh, you know, the first game was a 2D kind of platformer-esque thing, and then this one switched to full 3D. Uh, I have to say, I, I liked the original quite a bit, um, but I prefer this one. I know a lot of purists like the original. I mean, ain't that always the way, but... So there's the teleporter. I'm not going to summon it just yet, because I want to find as many upgrades as I can. I got crit chance. That's good for me, I have a high rate of fire. This game is a uh, really fun co-op. That's where it gets most of its... Uh, because you can like coordinate pickups, right? You know, you can be like, okay, give me all the crit stuff. You can have another guy really tank things up. How's the difficulty compared to Risk of Rain 1? It gets hard. Um, I didn't play enough Risk of Rain 1 to know if they had the like... This game has a ton, I, I think one did. But this game has a ton of optional side stuff, right? Like, go here and you'll uncover this secret boss. And that stuff, even I was playing, when I was playing this game a lot, I was playing with three other people who were really good at it and playing it just all the time. Um, and even with those guys, uh, we ended up not being able to beat some of the harder stuff. Um, it's probably my fault. I was definitely not as good or uh, invested as them at the time, but... Alright, we're gonna do one lap around this area look for more upgrades and some of that boss. There's one run I went on went so far and I got to a level with snow everywhere and it never ended. I was very confused. Yeah, I know exactly what level you're talking about. I have also gotten incredibly stuck on that level. Oh, no, 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 I didn't want to sacrifice that. Oh, 
So this is an item that swaps items for other items. I guess it's alright. I have a feeling once this gets a bit harder and more enemies are popping on the stream, we're gonna have some real bad frame issues. But until then, we will fight on. Oh no! Oh Jesus! If you don't like managing cooldowns, I don't think you will like Risk of Rain 2. Oh, it's so rewarding to ram these guys. I love ramming these guys. Going up there, that's the last area I haven't seen in this level, I think. Hey, hey buddy. Oh, no ramp. Me and my friends have had almost like three hour runs in this game. It gets so hard to see what's going on when you're filling the screen with effects. Yeah, that's... That's definitely a part of this game is like... Just being able to understand visually what's going on with all the effects and enemies and enemy effects. It's, uh, it can be rough. Alright, let's, um, clear out these guys and then summon ourselves a boss. This game is very relaxing to me in the way that, like, oh, okay, decent fall damage. It's that stressful relaxation that, like, Tetris gives me, where I'm so zoned in, focused in, taking in the whole screen, kind of thinking about my next move. Like, I'm stressed, but it's a good stress. It's a stress that I can channel. Deal with the ads first. Uh oh. Uh oh, stuck. Oh yeah. fan didn't get detached again. That happened to me. Uh, if you guys, if any of you tuned in on that stream where I played, oh god, I'm gonna die. That stream where I played Fortnite and was having like single digit FPS. I don't know if I ever talked about it, but I found out that after the fact that the reason that was happening is my CPU fan disconnected somehow. Uh oh, I am uh, in trouble here. Boss is down. Oh, am I not filling up the exit or whatever? Hey. I hope it's not that. I hope so too, but it's also a relatively easy fix. Um, I'm just gotta plug that bad boy back in. Um, but if it did happen again, that means there is a bigger problem at play. 
Oh, I forgot to grab the boss item, you're right. Yeah, it has been a while since I have played this game. I don't even know what this item does. But I'm about to find out. Temporary barrier, I feel. That seems good. Uh, another thing about this game is that's important is items will stack. Uh, so you can really kind of... If you find one of those 3D printers that lets you swap items around, and you can get like four of an item, like evasion or crit, you know, something that you want stacked. Uh, you can do some work. You know what? Let's go back. I like the bow lady. I also unlocked these characters. I haven't played them, but I unlocked them on a run. They seem complicated. We got some new characters. I assume these were part of the patch. I'll play the bow lady. She's got the homing shots, that's right. Uh, got a blink. And then... Got like... Oh, right. Kind of rain. Holy shit, I'm gonna die again. Does she have a double jump now? equipment charge. Not a great first item. I don't even have one equipment. Alright, there are these shrines as well. Trying to chance. Always take the chance. Always take the chance. Ruby's got the chalk. Hey, y'all remember chalk zone? That show fucked me up. I did not the, like the way Ruby looked. Rudy was a bad boy. A bastard of a child. Any more money? want to, maybe this is an option, but rebind my buttons per character. Because like, I mean, I understand it's like every character kind of has a movement ability on control, signature ability on five. Uh, what is this? Sprint faster. That's, I'll take that. But, uh, I don't know, for whatever reason, like, I want my blink to be on a different button for her than I wanted the ability to be on the robot guy. a lap. These levels are huge, especially some of the later ones. Um, another That's another advantage of, you know, playing these co-op is you can kind of spread out 
reconvene when there's a big wave spread out again. Feels like my frame rate's doing better. So I always blink forward. I thought maybe I could hold back and blink back, but gotta do a sick The thing about the exit is it kind of like produces this little bubble effect. Uh, so you have to die off of that. You also have to look out for me when I start producing a bubbly effect. It's not a good, I'm not. Don't. You don't want to be around me. Shield generator being good. I didn't check down here. Was this a dead end? I thought this looped around. You just passed the teleporter. Hmm. Oh yeah, I see it there. All right, great. Let's go get those other chests. Ow. Oh hey, I got a lunar coin. You're likely to release a healing nova during the teleporter event. That seems like a skill designed for co-op play. Alright. Let's do it. Time to put up and shut up. Because I'm probably gonna have to talking this much. I'm gonna be focusing on the on the fight. You guys understand. Stone pipe. Hey, I remember you. Stone Titan to come down here where I can fight him.
Hey. A big stupid idiot. Ow. Oh no, I'm the stupid idiot. I'm sorry. Uh, I need like an auto clicker for this game. I mean, I'm just holding down the, the mouse button, but I'm just doing that. Oh boy, I need to get out of sight. No, 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 come back, come back, come back. He knows I'm over here, right? different way of saying bed. Burn. Burn. Oh right, I forgot you don't take the money with you. I should have hit up the uh, shrine of chance. Got rid of my extra money. This character feels good. Look at this moron. My healing drone just getting fucked up. I think my healing drone is just dying. Why isn't it with me? Come this way, buddy. I'll protect you. This game shouldn't have fall damage. No game should have fall damage. That's not true, but... I don't know. There's few games where I've been like, oh yeah, fall damage, cool. I get if it's like integral to the platforming or whatever, but Mario should have fall damage. Yes, I agree. that exit for now. Not have enough money for this. Some more AoE, which my character doesn't really have a lot of. Fall damage is the worst in Vice City. Yeah, I, I remember playing that at my friend's house and like falling off of something not even that tall and dying and just being like, maybe that was the genesis of me. Okay, we know where the... Alright, everyone remember, the teleporter's by the sand. If 
fall damage in GTFO uh, recently made me really upset. Oh, uh, yeah, we're getting into this frame problem again. There are these boss shrines, you can summon bosses to fight them. Uh, it's good, I don't remember exactly why. <laughs> Maybe to drop something. There's a lot of this game I'm just doing out of instinct and habit right now. Money, but nothing to spend it on to critically strike. Oh, we know what a crit is. Monster Tooth. Any sort of healing ability seems really good. Especially early on. I imagine later when bosses are dealing massive damage, it's less important. Alright, find a couple more chests here and then, uh... Uh oh! That damage reduction seems really good. Alright, let's go do the teleporter. by the sand where we left it. Evil Queen. This Beetle Queen ain't shit. All the other enemies kind of are. Oh no, this is not good. Well, we're gonna have to do some diagnostics after this. We might have to end the stream a little early because this is getting unplayable. until we die at least. Look how stupid I look with all my like, gear. Bye. -bye. Microsoft announced that next gen game reveals for next Thursday. Why couldn't they have done a Tuesday morning so we can talk about it on the bombcast? This is a new level.
Ow. Fall damage, man. Fucking fall damage. Fall damage, encumbrance, and weapon durability are the three things I would permanently erase from all video games if I could. Oh my lord. I don't mind fall damage so much if there's ways to subvert it, like, um, like, if your game has a double jump, right, and you fall a really long way, but then you can double jump right before you hit the ground and not take fall damage, I'm okay with that. As long as you're giving me a tool to deal with the fall damage, it's not just like, oops, I slipped and I'm dead. You can do that in this game unless your ability is on cooldown. Which one is this? Oh. It's a heal. Oh, great. A heal. Right, or you get a double jump item. That's what I'm saying though, but you have to. I'm saying give it, like, you have to have the tool from the get go. So that you're not like, oh, I don't have the item that stops me from doing this thing. It's just annoying. It's... Like, I understand its purpose. But I think it just is less... I don't think it makes the game more fun. I think it makes it less fun. Encumbrance is the worst. Yeah, I... I understand it in certain games. Like, I don't mind it in Fallout uh, so much. That's a really good item to have in multiplayer if you can have somebody who's like, oh, here's where all of the items are. I think weapon durability is awesome if there's a late game item that isn't vulnerable. I could see that being useful. Alright, here we go. Give me the good shit. 
cost gold per bullet. Uh, disposable missile launcher. I'm gonna stick with my buzzsaw. Bless my computer with more frames. Yeah, people in the chat, the chat discourse has turned towards weapon durability in Breath of the Wild. That is the thing that turned me off of that game. I have heard every reason of why it's good. I don't agree with any of them. What can I say? It's just like, I don't like it. To me, a Zelda game should never be about crafting. I've also never seen this level. Oh, I missed the boss item again. Cool, cool. Unfortunately, these computer issues are pretty rough for me, um, making it kind of hard to play. I'm going to have to call it quits here. These guys come back in an hour, um, so make sure you stay tuned for that. I'm going to hit my computer with a hammer really hard, and I hope it fixes the problems. Uh, we'll see next time on Breakfast in Binge.